Hey guys, I'm Officer Officer Jackson with Waco Police Department. Um, we're here today to talk to you guys a little bit and have a little fun. Nothing crazy. Um, I've been with the department now for 10 years. Uh, I am a uh, SWAT officer. It's one of my secondary duties. I also am a traffic enforcement officer. Um, this here is Officer Butcher. I'll let him tell a little bit about, about himself there. Yeah, I graduated from La Vega. Who all knows where that's at? Anybody know where La Vega is? Yeah, that's where I graduated high school at. So after that, I joined the Army. Um, when I left the Army, came back to Waco, got hired at the police department. I've been here about 13 years. I've uh, been on SWAT now, I don't know, like nine, give or take. I'm getting old. This kind of <coughs> slips my mind. But yeah, I've been on SWAT about nine and been in patrol the, my whole career. So what started this program, the Waco uh, Buddy Lunch Program? Actually, one of our supervisors uh, was trying to think of ways to interact with youth in the community. Uh, and he thought, cops like to eat. They like to eat. Why not have lunch together? So we decided to uh, start visiting some of the local schools and having lunch with uh, students who the teachers and staff select. And so how many s schools have you guys been to so far? I want to say it's right around 10. About 10? Mm -hmm. right. Who has some questions? I don't know. Go for it. How or why did y'all become I became a police officer because I didn't want to do the same thing every day. I wanted to be able to do something different every day I came to work. So this is the best job for me. Uh, it's good. How long do you have to go to training to be a police officer? Yeah, about four months, five months is the academy. Uh, then you come to the police department wherever you're hired. Uh, they give you more training, uh, which is normally two to three months. Um, and then for about four months, you go ride with officers that are already out on the street, and they train you. Uh, so give or take, before you're out in a car on your own, it's about a year and a half. What Rosita. Would you, what would you say was your most successful accomplishment as a police officer? Mm. And I think it would be uh, joining the SWAT team and being involved in all the special operations that we do. Um, Juan. Do you have any protections or anything? Do I have any what? protections yes we wear every day we wear our, our vests which help protect us from that kind of stuff yes ma'am how many awards do you get as a police officer how many awards uh, it just depends on how many things you do and uh, how many things you're nominated for some of us look like five-star generals you know all the army guys with all the <laughs> stuff on their chest and then other guys we just have a couple we don't wear them every day so just the fancy stuff mm -hmm. Yes, sir. What is the best part about your job? The best part about my job is I get to meet new people just about every day. You know? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh, what kind of guns do you work on the best? What kind of guns? Uh, pretty much for pistols. Any kind of pistol will pretty much stop it. It still won't feel good, but it'll stop it. Y'all have pepper spray? We do. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm not going to show you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. In your own words, what do you think about rural areas? Rural areas. They're not as densely populated. Huh? Um, we don't, we have some rural areas in the city, um, but most of it is outside the city. That's what I think you're referring to, right? Okay. And the... Uh, um, the sheriff's department are the ones that handle all the issues in the in the rural areas mainly. But overall, I actually live in a rural area, and I prefer them to the city. <coughs> yes, ma'am. What's the difference from a police officer and a sheriff? Uh, just the areas that we cover. So in the state of Texas, any officer that you see that's working in Texas or commissioned by Texas uh, can enforce any law anywhere in Texas. But uh, basically. The area they work is, the, like, for, uh, for instance, we work for the city of Waco. They're the ones who pay us. So we enforce all the laws and city ordinances within the city of Waco. Uh, but we can actually take action outside of our jurisdiction. Uh, it's just mainly who pays you. How do you know someone's speeding? <laughs> we have a couple different tools. One, generally we can tell because we've been doing this for a while and we know when somebody's going a little faster than everybody else. But we, we use a radar. You guys know what radar is? <coughs> Shoots out that signal and sends it back to us, and that kind of tells us exactly how fast they're going. Another tool that we use is a, a laser. 
and we use that laser at a thousand at a thousand yards or a thousand feet um, you've got a little window and it'll, it'll tell us exactly which one where we point that laser at which one is speeding but like I said we use our eye and we say that one looks like they're speeding and then we check that with the tools that we have yeah it's just like when you're standing out in your front yard or whatever you're with your mom and dad you're like man that car is going too fast right you know when a car is going too fast kind of the same concept yep. What would you advise these students to do in their communities just to be helpful and to be good citizens? Do exactly what you're doing now in the leadership program that you're in. I've heard some of those little projects and I can't spill the beans on some of them, so mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Um, so I'm not going to repeat any of what I heard because you may not have done it yet. But anyways, you all have some projects coming up or may have already done that is exactly what you need to do within your community. What you all are doing now is exactly what you need to do. Yeah, be leaders. Is someone like a burglar or some, someone else runs from out of the state, would you go chase them? Absolutely. <laughs> Especially if they broke into your house and stole your stuff, I would even go, I would try to run even faster. <laughs> yes, ma'am. How many tools do you have on your belt? I have no clue, but let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, look, they're just like, they're almost kind of like tennis shoes. You know what I, you know what I call mine? I call mine my go-fasters. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. My favorite tool is this one. I can talk to folks and tell them, hey, will you do this for me? And generally they'll be like, all right. <laughs> it's the easiest one. Yeah. Have you ever been on a speeches? Have I ever been on a speeches? <laughs> yes, I have. And we went, we went kind of fast, but we also did it safely. And did we catch the bad guy? Yes, we did. <laughs> yes, we did. The good thing is, is most bad guys can't drive very well. Mm. That's the good thing. <laughs> yeah. What else? I no other questions, questions, guys? I know y'all had a bunch of questions for me over here. Yeah, so did these ladies. These two have been real quiet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What else? Yes, ma'am. Do y'all remember, have you ever gotten a wreck and you're trying to catch a bad guy? Um, I have not, no. What, what, I'm sorry, I didn't hear the question. You've okay. gotten a wreck? Yeah, I catch a bad guy. Not trying to catch a bad guy. Um, I was actually trying to pull out of a parking lot and back into a parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All the wrecks that I've been in, none of them are cool to talk about. Like, no. I was like backing up, hit a car, uh, hit a little telephone box one night in the alley, backing up. Yeah, we can't. I can't back up. So if you see when I leave, when I leave and I'm backing out, I'm gonna get out and do it. Like clear. This. Be careful, cause I can't back up. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Not you. you Not you, world, Andrew. What, would it what is that? If you could make a change in your world, what would it be? If I could make a change in my world, what would it be? We talking about my world. We talking talking about the entire world. The entire world. Hmm. Man, that's an open-ended question. Um, let's start small. Um, I think getting to do this more would be very beneficial. I think you guys are our future, so you guys, I, I want to get to hang out with y'all more and kind of get y'all going in the right direction, which most of you are, I see. That's yes, sir. There are some dog, or some canine officers is what we call them, um, and we have three of them at the Waco Police Department. Yeah. When you're training, and you're trying to catch a burglar, and you don't have a car, do you just run? That's it, right here, two feet. That's yep. all the horsepower I have. <laughs> and I'm not that fast, but this guy, he's pretty quick, so. So do y'all want to race later? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Us too? I'm old. He's going to win. We might take y'all up on that. Um, we, in order to get on, hired onto the department, you have to go through a, uh, it was a mile and a half run, and I think uh, 
some push-ups and some sit-ups, kind of just, just basic things that you needed to do just to show that you, you are able to do the job. Um, and now I believe they're going back to a obstacle course, so you'll have to run, jump over a fence, do some other stuff. But yes, there are some things, but we, um, being on SWAT, we, we kind of keep up with that ourselves and stay in shape ourselves because we know that's very important. And we actually are required to take two PT tests a year. Yeah. So, but that's not the majority of the department. That's just our unit. Yeah. Um, but the department actually has what we call a wellness program, which for a couple hours a week, you're allowed to work out while you're, you're at work. So they try to even give you an incentive of, hey, we'll pay you to work out. How many times do I do what? How many children do y'all have? Oh, I have, that's, I like that, that's a good question. I have one seven-year-old son. Uh, he is a, he goes to Lorena Elementary, or primary school. He's in first grade. These, these, they already know the answer over here. We talked about that earlier, but I have three. I have a 13-year-old, a seven-year-old, seven and a four-year-old. Two boys and a girl. Who was up next here? Let's see. How many weapons do you have in all? How many weapons do I have? We count knees <laughs> and my feet. <laughs> uh, we carry what we call our sidearm, which is our, our, our pistol that we carry on us all the time. Then with SWAT, they give us another weapon, which is a rifle, and that's considered our primary weapon when we're, when we're in that role. Um, but he and I both are counter snipers for the SWAT team, and they give us another rifle on top of that. So I have three. And I believe he has the same. Yeah. So. It's just I'm a whole curious. Bunch. What was mm -hmm. your favorite subject in school when you're in elementary? Oh yeah. yeah. There we go. <laughs> history. History. Yeah. I was gonna say history. <laughs> history. Um, I love math. Who? You like math? You're good at it. Good. I'm gonna have to come find you. Yeah. I need some help math. Because I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, they tell me how much to pay. It's not hard. I just write a check. I, uh, I look at yeah. the numbers and I'm like, all right, that number right here. Yeah, I don't have to. It was definitely not spelling. <laughs> but yes, I was no good at math. Go ahead. Sorry. My favorite food is, I don't know, that spaghetti we have is pretty good. <laughs> um, but probably, I don't know, pizza. I like chicken. Mm-hmm. Are there a lot of burglaries? Mm, there are a few. I'm sorry, hold on, Juan was, Juan's been holding his hand up for a while. Did you, even, did you have your own, did you have other jobs? Did I have other jobs? Yes, before this I worked for the, I actually worked for the Sheriff's Department as a jailer. I worked out in the jail for two years. Before that I was in the Marine Corps. Yes, sir. The usual crimes, um, I don't know if you, uh, since we're both on the traffic unit, we, we uh, kind of enforce all the traffic laws. Do you all know some of the traffic laws? What, what's one of the traffic laws? Uh, speed. Speeding, that's a big that's, one. That's the common one. Yep. Any, anybody know another common traffic law? Running red lights. Running red lights, that's go. another one. How about you? Is it a traffic law? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So riding the wrong, riding, driving on the wrong side of the road, stuff like that. Well, that's that's the biggest stuff that we see. But while we're out and about doing our thing, if we hear a call go out nearby, like uh, a burglary, if we hear that, or if we hear, um, you know, somebody's somebody's hurting somebody else or whatever, so we'll go handle that too. You've been you've been holding your hand. Your favorite place to hang out. Hang out, like what do you mean? What am I doing when I'm hanging out? Am I working or what? Or like my favorite area to work or like when I'm off? On duty or off duty? Yeah. Oh, I love playing uh, baseball with my son. Hmm. I like baseball, yeah. it's, uh, I'm glad it's that time of year again. <laughs> <laughs> yes ma'am. What was your, um, your most, what was your favorite part of your crime? Most important crime that I ever stopped? It has to be a crime, a crime. All right. So, I guess a while back, like in 2008 or something, there were a whole bunch of, uh, I say a whole bunch. There was three guys going around and they were robbing people in the street. They were mainly targeting Hispanic males, 
late at night. So they take all their money and everything. Uh, one night I got lucky. I was going to eat, actually. See, there's something about cops and eating. Um, and I was driving down, and I was close, and I got in a little car chase. It didn't go long, and then I uh, caught the guy that was doing all that. And they've been doing it all over the place. So that's kind of one of the biggest crimes I stopped myself. Yes, sir. Where did y'all go to school when you were a kid? I went to a local one, uh, Bosqueville. And, and I'm, a, I'm a La Vega pirate. Yeah. <coughs> Who's up? Who's up? Yes, ma'am. How many bank robberies have y'all stopped? How many bank robberies have we stopped? Me I alone. Have, I have zero <laughs> on I'm, that I'm one. standing at zero on that yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> Not for lack of trying, though. <laughs> Wow, what a great question and answer period we had from Waco P Police Department. We have today Officer Bouchard and Officer Jackson with us, as well as two Kendrick Elementary students, Juan and Alani. I am curious to know, Officer Bouchard, how did this partnership come? Uh, one of our supervisors uh, actually came up, wanted to come up with an idea of how to interact with the youth, uh, so he figured why not cops like to eat, kids like lunchtime, so let's have lunch together. Okay, that's great. And did you enjoy talking to our students today, Officer Jackson? This is always the, one of the best times that we have. It's much better than doing other things. All right. And what did you think, Alani, about talking to the police officers today? Did you think they were easy to talk to? Mm-hmm. You did? Mm -hmm. And yes. what did you like the best about it? That we got to answer. We, ha we got to ask them questions about police and stuff. Okay, that you got to, all right. And what did you like the best, Juan, besides the food? The same. The what same thing, said. all yes. right. And I'm just staring at Officer Jackson and Bouchard. Are you two brothers by chance? <laughs> you <laughs> are, the oh my goodness, they're <laughs> brothers. So we have two brother officers behind us. And I'm curious to know, why did you get, um, why did you want to come to the schools in order to do this? Who wants to take that? I'll tell you. Okay, Officer Jackson. Um, this, is, this is one of the ways that we can give back to the community. Um, we can show that officers aren't bad. We want to expose them to a positive uh, experience so that um, they know that we're just regular folks too. Okay. And did you find this beneficial today? Absolutely. Uh, it's any day getting to hang out with the kids and just have fun and nothing formal is always fun to hang out with the kids. So what was the toughest question you were asked today? Um, I don't know what the toughest question was really. <laughs> there was a bunch of them. <laughs> Officer Jackson, did you have any tough questions? Uh, the, the one about what was my greatest um, accomplishment. Okay. That one was a, it was a good one. It made me think. Okay. Okay. And what is the main purpose of this uh, Waco um, Buddy Lunch Program? Just again to expose the, the kids to a positive uh, a positive experience with the police officers. Okay. Yeah, we want them to be able to approach us anytime okay. uh, they may need it, and we want them to feel like they can approach us. So Juan, if you ever saw one of these two guys out on the street, would you approach them? Would you feel comfortable? Yes, ma'am. Why would you? Because they're superheroes, my superheroes. Oh, wow, they're superheroes. Mine too, Juan. Good job. And Alani, would you feel comfortable if you ever needed help to reach out to these two gentlemen? Yes. You would? How often do you get to do this program? Um, we usually go out to at least one school a week. And there's, uh, I'm talking about Mike and I, uh, there's other guys that are going to another school today. So uh, we, we hit up, I guess, two total a week and uh, what, eight, eight weeks? Yeah, we'll be, we'll be finishing out the rest of the uh, school year, okay. going to two schools a week. Okay. And so far, I think we visited 10. 10 schools? Oh, wow. Well, we want to thank you for your service, gentlemen. And Kendrick Elementary students appreciate you coming out today and eating with us and allowing our students to answer you questions. You. Continue to tune in to WISD-TV, where we have exciting things happening.